All right, folks, another type of mastering chemistry question that often gets sent my way. How do I enter in subscripts and superscripts in these darn equations that I can't answer the proper way? Because I'm entering it in, but mastering chemistry is counting it wrong because I'm not doing the proper format. Uh, not a big deal. I'm here to save the day. So here's part A, and it says HNO3 is the acid. And NH3 is the base. So what kind of products are going to get formed? And they want you to write it. Okay, so if HNO3 is the acid, acid definition means that it's going to donate a proton. So if this donates a proton, what I have left is NO3, but there's a negative charge that remains. And that negative charge is there because we've lost a proton, right? And if I key it in, just strictly using the keyboard, this is the format that it's going to be keyed in, and it doesn't quite fit the format or the template that Mastering Chemistry wants. So how do I key this in properly? Well, if you see this big gray box, it says template, and there's a white box with a little bitty superscript box right up above it. That's probably where I need to go in order to select maybe charges or select superscripts that need to be on to these atoms or even subscripts, which of course are going to be down below. So it looks like X sub A here. That looks like a superscript to me. And this is X sub B and that looks like a subscript to me. So if I want to key in uh, NO3 minus, then what should I do? Well, NO, if you click this button for subscript, you can key in the three and it draws it lower. And then hit the arrow on your keyboard to get out of that blue box. And notice that your cursor or your blinking cursor gets bigger. Well, that's because you're back onto the kind of main line item. But now we need kind of a superscript because I need to make sure that I include that it is a negative charge. So I'll click the arrow on the keyboard over again, and this leaves me with NO3 with a minus up above. All right, then the next one, uh, well, if NH3 is a base, then that means that it's going to gain the proton, and what we end up with now is NH4 instead. So subscript, I'll type in the four, and then if I click the arrow out and I do subscript, I'll do a positive up here at the top. So that looks like NH3 minus, it's lost the proton. NH4 plus, it's gained the proton. And then if I hit submit here, it says, ta-da, you're correct. Good job. So that is the area that you will go into to express those types of things when you have to answer some of these questions within Mastering Chemistry. Uh, notice in here as well, there's also an arrow. Uh, that's a reaction arrow or, you know, produces some type of products. And then we also have the equilibrium arrow here as well. And that equilibrium means, of course, it goes back and forth. So it makes products, and then those products make reactants again, and then those reactants make products again, and then those products make reactants again, and then those reactants make products again, and they just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right? So that is the area where you will find the subscript, or the superscript, the subscript, as well as the reaction arrows if you need them. If you want to hide this, then that's the purpose of the keyboard here icon over to the right-hand side. Just click it, and then that will condense that back down so you don't have to worry about looking at that uh, if you don't want to see that as you finish on answering the question or whatever that you need to do. All right? So uh, that is the proper way to enter in the uh, small little tiny charges or small little numbers that need to go into these formulas or these product formulas uh, that you will see within Mastering Chemistry. So as before, if you've got questions, let me know. I'm here to help. Uh, don't feel timid to reach out. Send me an email. You're not silly. Uh, you're not crazy. You're not computer illiterate. It's just part of this class is learning mastering chemistry. That is part of it. And some of you have never experienced this before. So if so, we're here to help. So do not feel timid to reach out and ask for that help. You're paying for it. 
And if you're getting financial aid, tax dollars are paying for it. So somebody's paying for it. So take advantage of it.